A mere decade ago, pop superstar Beyonce Knowles first appeared in an ad for Pepsi. Hi, can you tell me how to get back to the interstate? <laughs> Thinking that sold some soda. Well, uh, this new deal taking pop star endorsements really to to a whole other level because now Beyonce has signed a 50 million dollar contract with Pepsi to become global partners. So this basically means Beyonce is much more than merely a brand ambassador for Pepsi. Pepsi becomes a brand ambassador for Beyonce. So we wanted to bring in branding and social media consultant Peter Shankman, our go-to guy on all this kind of stuff. Um, so, Peter, we, we know that her hubby, Jay-Z, did a little something similar, uh, right? Striking up deals, getting a little bit more creative control. You've talked to Pepsi. Give me the skinny. Yeah, Pepsi sent me some info on this. It, you know, I think the big mistake when you hear Beyonce in a $50 million deal with Pepsi, you assume that Pepsi's writing a $50 million check to Beyonce. That's actually not the case. Um, the majority of that money, according to Pepsi, is going to go into a creative development fund that will work, uh, that'll create events, events around the world, branding opportunities, uh, probably promotions, probably in store, probably in concert halls, venues, things like that, where they can share the spotlight. So it's a great uh, thing for Pepsi. Pepsi gets a lot of exposure at Beyonce's events and concerts. Beyonce gets a lot of exposure on the side of millions and millions and millions of Pepsi cans. So how many people, I mean, there are not many Beyonce's out there that get this sort of like mutual endorsement deal. I mean, if we're talking Beyonce, we're talking Jay-Z, is this just yeah. a select few? It really is. You know, think about this. Pepsi started this in, in 1984 with Michael Jackson, and, mm. and everyone remembers that, and that was groundbreaking. At the time, to give creative control to an artist back in the 80s was almost unheard of for commercial play. What's really interesting about, about this, though, is that, um, you know, Beyonce has a company along with Jay-Z, uh, Parkwood Entertainment. And they have been doing lots of other things behind the scenes, from movies to TV to videos to commercials. So this isn't anything new, but the extent and the scope of this is, is pretty impressive, especially for someone like uh, Pepsi. Pepsi's the second largest beverage, uh, food and beverage company in the world. Wow. You know, you do a, you're Beyonce, you're walking on air today. Globally, global air. Um, l let me ask you, Peter, about this potential ch uh, game changer in the music industry because we heard today Rolling Stones are they're trying this whole new idea of basically they're these pay-per-view concerts. So if you can't, you know, fork over I don't know multiple hundreds of dollars to see them, you know, in person for 40 bucks, you can watch the concert from home, maybe your your phone. I love a good live show. When you hear about this, what do you about the future of live music? You know, they tried this uh, about 20, 25 years ago. The problem was you had to be in front of a, of a TV at your home at a very specific time. Uh, uh, quality wasn't that great. Now, you know, you could be walking down the street uh, jamming out to the Stones. I think it's a good idea. And, hey, let's face it, they're the Rolling Stones. It's not like they're not going to sell out their concerts. But this is another added revenue stream. Pretty, pretty big on here. I could see me going to a show and then also, you know, up I, and I guarantee you a phone. lot of people are going to be doing that. Oh, look, a it's a two-second delay. Right? As a music memory. <laughs> Peter Shakeman, always a pleasure. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you, Bruce. All righty. Coming up, Rockstar Royalty has just...